Welcome back to another edition of Fact Over Feelings. And in this segment, we're going to be talking about what you think about. Now, before we get started, like always, if you guys are new to Fact Over Feelings, this is where we put our factual data over the feelings that we have in our life so we can improve, get better. I am your host, Arnold Lewis of the Arnold's Thoughts Podcast, and this segment is called Fact Over Feelings. Now, let's get straight into it. What do you think about? For context, this topic for this segment came to me when I was just in my mode of thinking. Sometimes we have to just get into a place where we're just thinking. I think Myron Golden said, the hardest thing that people don't do is think. I don't, I don't know how you paraphrase it. But one of, the, one of the easiest things to do, but the hardest to do, is to think. People don't take time to think. Now I have to, I have to be in context because I kind of get onto my daughter about this and I know sometimes that might be hard because it is a difficult process if you're not taught properly. And if you don't actually take the time to dive deeper into it, which is d- figuring out what you think about. What is it that the things that you're thinking about in your life is going to dictate where you go into your life? So I intentionally take time to think. We have to start taking time intentionally to think about the life that we want. Our thoughts create our reality. They dictate the way we live our life they dictate everything that happens in our life everything and every position that you are in in your life right now is all a result of your past and present thinking you are exactly where you are because of the thought process that you do and acquire on every single day basis what are you thinking about what are the thoughts that are swirling in your brain right now let's just take a time right now to think what are the thoughts that you're thinking what is it you're dominating thoughts on every day that make you move the way you do? If you don't take the time, like intentional time, right? Just taking intention, being very intentional on in what you do and being intentional on thinking about the way you want your life to be is a process that is necessary in order to get that life. Like sitting down and practicing mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness, which is literally sitting down in one place for like 35 to an hour of just pure silence, and you're sitting there, and you let the noise in your head calm down, and you're able to think with clarity of what it is that life has for you, what it is that your your current thoughts are leading you in a direction. I focus on the me personally. I focus on these things because I want to be able to show that to my daughter and show her the right process of thinking, how that dictates your life and where you're going to go into your life. Is it I'm perfect? Not even close in the sense of understanding the concepts totally of the mind. I'm just picking up pieces and growing and learning and reading in this life and wondering how can I apply these tactics and these works to better enhance my thought process. I'm constantly trying to figure out how I get my mind functioning and thinking because your mind is so powerful and it dictates so much of your life. But if we're not being intentional on how we use our mind and use our thoughts to create and change and have the life that we want, then we're not going to really get nowhere. Or it's not even not we're going to get nowhere. Or it's not We're not going to achieve the the goals or the processes or whatever it is in life that you want you're not really going to obtain those because you're not taking the time to think about those what is it that you're thinking about this whole network and this whole um station is okay the arnold's thoughts podcast arnold's thoughts my thoughts one day i'm tell you how this all came to be one day i was just in the bathroom just taking a shower in my head was literally pounding out and I say you can see the vein in my head like just going just pounding out the side of my head because I was in just so much thought there was just so many words in my head going out that it felt like my head was going to explode so I said I have to figure out an outlet 
this is my outlet. All the thoughts that was in my head, I had to let them go and let them out. And I decided to put it on this network. <laughs> Hence the name Arnold's Thoughts. Arnold's Thoughts. These are just my thoughts of what I think about on a daily basis of improvement, of how do we as a people grow and get better and how do we shape our mindset to achieve the things that we want to achieve in life? How do we construct and build and really just change the mentality that makes us who we are? How do we build that? We always hear, I like to use um, Kobe Bryant, the Mamba, Mamba mentality. It's just his way of thinking that left him or made him into the legend that he is today. Just people, different people's thought process is how they live their life. And a lot of times I think that people believe it's because some people are just so special in their own right and they're just, they can do certain things because they're so gifted. No, it's because their mindset is so fortified and they thought about and they believe in the things that they want and they went after it. But it all started with the thought, the thoughts that you feed yourself, the ideas all those things, the things that you listen to, the things that you watch, the people that you talk to, the things that you write, you read, you interact with, all these are adding to what we believe and think about and constructing our near future. So taking the time to think about what it is that we want, think about what it is that life has to offer us what are your dominating thoughts? Do they empower you or do they pull you down? Do they lead you forward or do they pull you back? Do they enhance you or do they degrade you down? Do you fight with the thoughts that are in your head every single day? When a thought comes up, do you always fight with that thought and think, man, is this going to help me get better or is this something that gives me anxiety is it something that when i think about something it just overwhelms me and i cannot move on past and i can't keep going on with my life because i'm not saying that you I'm not gonna take your life let me be very clear but you can't move on past a certain situation because of what you think about it how you think about it man i read a quote i read a quote in a book uh cyber i think it was in psycho cybernetics and the guy i can't remember his name but he was he said we are, we are dictated, our feelings are dictated by how we think about the feelings or an action. Sorry I butchered this, the phrase, the saying, but it's basically saying like, what we choose to think about a situation is how we will handle the situation. So our thoughts on whatever situation and whatever problem or goal or Anything in our life, our thoughts on it, whether it be positive or negative, dictates how we feel towards it. So if there's something that we want to achieve, for example, or there's someone that hurts us, for a better example, we can choose to allow that to get us upset, to be in a temperament over, over this person disrespecting us or doing something, or we could choose to think of that, you know what, that's their issue. And continue on with your life. But it's only the thoughts. How you dictate the thoughts that you have in your head to any situation in life. So whatever situation that you have in life, think about how you think about it. Mm. Think about how you think about it. How do you react to the things that you think about? Do you react in a solution-based way? Or do you automatically get down and it automatically drains you? That's a thought. That's, would you, the actions and the thought that you have in your head towards a certain situation makes you, your whole mood change. Someone could have cut me off. I could think about that t today, the next day, the next day, every time I get in my car to go driving, all I'm thinking about is that one person cutting me off and now I'm having a bad time every time now i'm triggering my brain every time i get in the car to think about this negativity that someone did to me and then it becomes a habit it's what i'm feeding my brain but if i choose there's a book the power of one more by ed Millet, 
And he said how he dictates like when the negative thoughts, because negative thoughts and things are going to pop up in your head, but how you handle them when they do get there. He did. He said something in that book that I, I use today that is actually very productive and helping me when it comes to like the thoughts that try to come into your head and, and I don't know, thoughts of doubt or thoughts of something I don't want to think about. It's like I, I literally picture myself scratching the thought out as if it was written on a piece of paper and scratching it out so your mind can comprehend that you're actually doing a scratching out notion in your head to get rid of that thought and that that truly helps me that helps me to understand that okay when it's something that popped up in my head that i don't want i literally scratch it out like a pen i can still see a pen on a piece of paper and that thought or whatever negativity that is scratching it out nope i don't accept this i reject this i'm not that nope if you guys are big, I don't know, for guys who are believers and who believe in God, if you do, if you don't, that's fine. I do. I truly am. And there's a there's a pastor, an old in days pastor that I used to listen to, and his name was Reverend Ike. And his whole concept of how the brain and your thought process works and how it changes your reality, he goes so deep. And the reason I rock with him so much is because he gave me a different perspective on how to use my brain and how to think about certain situations. Until that point, I think I was probably like around 29 or 30, 31. I, I'm not sure. It was a few years ago before I really started listening to him. But he gave me a different perspective on the way I use my brain, the way I think about things, the way I handle things, the way I f form things in my mind to whatever situation that is in front of me. It's just a different perspective of the way the mind works. How do you think about it? What are the thoughts that you think that's going to lead up into the solution of what you want or the downfall of what you want? That is your choice. I could go into this all day. I, I feel good. I always feel real great when I talk about the mind because it's such a untapped and it's just a, a, a beautiful vast wonderland of information that you can learn and apply to your thoughts the, just the whole thought process in general use things to help improve your thoughts use practices practice mindfulness practice meditation practice prayer getting control of your mind so you can get control of your thoughts so you can get control of your reality and take control of your life that is all I got for this episode of Keys to the Game. I hope you guys enjoy. If so, please like and share. Rate me on Apple Podcasts. That's all I got for this segment. Till next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.